So let's just see different ways to export and import modules in Node.js. So here we have this function called grid. Now to export this function, simplest way to do it is by using module.exports and we can export this function and after that we have to import this so here we have to use require and then here we're gonna say dot slash grid and we're gonna store this in a variable called grid so that is the imported function so let's now call this so we're gonna call the grid function and now if we run node main so you can see we have the output so we are successfully importing this function and then executing in other module so let's now see other ways to export this function so we can write module.exports and we can assign this function so we are directly exporting this function and our import will be the same so if we execute node main so we are having the same output and also we can send one object like module.export and here we can send one object which can contain multiple key value pairs so suppose we have another function called farewell and that just simply console logs farewell message so here you have two functions now to export them both we can use one object so here the key will be the name of the function like greet and the value will be the name of the function similarly also we can send the farewell so we are exporting both of these functions now here so here we are just destructuring them and then we can uh, we can just call those functions if we run node main so you can see we have this output so we are successfully exporting both of these functions and then we are executing from other module and also we can use module dot exports dot grid so we are basically assigning one property to that object and we can send our grid function similarly also we can assign this farewell function also as a property of that object and here we don't have to make any changes destructuring those two functions and we are calling them so if we run node main so we are having the same output and also we can just remove this module and we can directly use exports dot and then the property name and we can export this way also and here we don't have to make any changes so if we run node main so you can see we are having the same output so these are the different ways we can export and import in node.js so that's it for the video we'll see you in the next one take care